It was an era of Oklahoma basketball like the Sooner Nation, in fact, like the basketball nation had never seen before. It was Billy Ball, the native Tulsa, Billy Tubbs, a three-year basketball letter winner at Tulsa Central High School, came to OU for the 1980-81 season. He took over a program that had only two 20-win seasons since 1907 and had only made six postseason appearances in the school's history. In the next 14 seasons, Tubbs took OU to 13 postseason tournament appearances. His Oklahoma record, 333 and 132, a 71.6 winning percentage. There were four trips to the NIT, nine to the NCAA tournament, and in 1988, his Sooners played for the national championship. Four times, Billy was named Big A Coach of the Year, and he was the National Coach of the Year in 1983 and again in 1985. In 30 seasons of basketball at Lamar, Oklahoma, and TCU, the Tubbs career record, 624 wins, 326 losses, and he was the ninth coach to record 100 victories at three different schools. But what he was most known for was the wide open NBA style that became known as Billy Ball. Well, I didn't give it the name Billy Ball, but what Billy Ball is in my imagination or in my uh, thoughts, Billy Ball is an up-tempo style basketball that basically thrives off of the defense. And that's thing a lot of people don't realize. They know you score a lot of points, but they think you're just coming down the floor and shooting the ball. But Billy Ball is very aggressive defense, uh, hard-nosed defense, a lot of trapping, a lot of full court pressing. Uh, and getting the ball and taking the first good available shot that you've seen. We didn't have to make six passes, eight passes before we could shoot. Everybody knew their role and when they got their shot, whether it was on the first pass, the second pass or whatever, the ball was going to go up and then we were going to crash the board. So Billy Ball is uh, a great uh, blend of really aggressive defense and aggressive offense and uh, I'm an impatient person. I want to see points go on that board. Uh, you know, I don't care whether, what sport it is, I'm interested in offense. I want to see people score. I'm not a defensive guy. I don't think people go to the game, any sport, see people play defense. They go to see you score. And that's what Billy Ball is all about, is scoring. <laughs> no one could ever accuse us of point shaving because we were going to score as many points as we possibly could and, and take people out early. And, uh, you know, I learned early in life that when you get somebody down, if you let them back up, they might whip you. So we, we had that philosophy of if you get them down, keep them down and keep going till the end of the, of the game. In Tubbs's first season, Oklahoma scored 100 points just one time in 27 games. Over the next 13 seasons, the Sooners would go over the century mark 127 times, including 173 points in one game. It was the season opener of 1989 against American International. We did flirt with scoring 100 points in the first half of the game, uh, but that team had great ability to score, and it was a carryover from the 87-88 team, and we did it with great defense. And um, uh, we, ha we had the ability during those two years to score on anybody, and uh, we could put 150 on you easy. We had two teams that scored 99 against us and lost by 52. And uh, it, it, that, those were the two best scoring machines that I've ever had, but the, uh, our defense was the best that it had ever been. It didn't take Billy long to find the player that would make Billy Ball take off. When I arrived at the University of Oklahoma, uh, they told me that there was a young man over in Tulsa at Booker T. Washington that was really a good player by the name of Wayman Tisdale. Uh, he fit our offensive schemes perfectly. He was the inside guy that we needed to play down on the low block that we could get him the ball and he could score. Plus. He was a fantastic rebounder. He had great physical strength. He was very explosive. And when I watched Wayman play in uh, high school, I knew that we had to have that player. And so I watched him play a lot of games. I uh, got close to his family. Oh, he didn't do too much. You know, he joined church. And <laughs> uh, no, uh, really, I mean, it was just, um, and he made me laugh. 
and when he recruited me, most I was recruited by over 200 or 300 schools. Well, I don't know. We lost count. But what the funniest thing was Billy Tubbs came in and started cracking jokes and, and, and really got really comfortable with the family. Out of all the choices I had, it was Oklahoma. I hope my legacy at Oklahoma, if I had a choice, would be that uh, I helped start that program on a national basis uh, where we people think of you as a national player, uh, your university, and uh, that I helped uh, Oklahoma basketball kind of parallel Oklahoma football to an extent. And uh, that we were honest, that we had fun in our program, uh, that we played all out. Uh, that we were really hard workers and hard work gets the job done for you uh, and that we just helped build Oklahoma to the program that it is right now and that it is going to remain.